Yo, what up? I gotta explore the town. There's a barber shop. I haven't been to the barber shop in, let me check my watch, seven months! Masks, COVID! 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 Oh, geez, are you also, you're the, you're a medical, you're a surgeon too, aren't you? I guarantee it. The barbers are always also surgeons. Or dentists! You're also a dentist, aren't you? Oh my gosh, you're also a dentist. I knew it, you're a dentist. You're definitely, you're definitely a dentist. Oh my god, um, what? What is, what is... Oh, okay. It auto-opens, that's interesting. Yo, I'm just trying to talk to you. Conrad! Please don't touch anything. Your Conrad! Are probably run! Run, it's Conrad! Physical hygiene recapitulates more Oh hygiene. my gosh. Cleanliness is next Oh, oh, also, 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 also. I noticed that they say, um, oh my law, or something like that. There's no, like, guarantee you there's no religion in this. Cleanliness is lex to lawfulness instead of godliness, right, right, right? Well, cleanliness is lex to godliness is a quote, but they've changed, they've changed everything. Or they've, they've changed, they've changed anything god to law. There is a religion and it's the law. That, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking you're gonna say. There is, well, unless there's, there could be religion outside of town but in town probably not i can show you my hands <laughs> take what is that saying shoot what's the saying you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get these hands you're gonna get these hands i don't know what it is but that's something <laughs> oh, do your haircuts usually come with free lectures we don't believe in free anything here in Edgewood. Catch these We're hands, yeah! Space's choice company. I'm Conrad. <gasps> you will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's choice aesthetic uh, standards. Listen. You will also report to me in the what? event of your death. Dude! Whereupon I will clean and prepare you for What do you expect me? How? Why are dead people expected to do things? Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber he's, does. We make he's a barber and he's the mortuary guy. I got questions. Listen, Go listen. We're in a town. It's going to all be about questions. You seem... What do you know about the plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many That's months. That's it? I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame... I mean, we're getting, at least in my state, we're getting like, I don't know, two to seven deaths a week with, to COVID, which isn't that much compared to other places, but still. Did I find out about the funeral arrangement policy yet? We're like, you freaking have to like pay to like be buried. You have to pay, you have to pay rent. Uh, it's, it's not even like just like pay once you have to pay rent on your gravesite. I decided to go to the moral high road and not loot the bodies for that one guy by the way What are the symptoms? Fever chills fatigue aching vomiting an excess of phlegm a tendency to belly, belly aching. aching Why don't what you're describing sounds a lot like a flu Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a How are people I mean, you can ethanol. die from the flu, but like it's not that common especially with treatment. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. How many people in my state? I actually don't know. Uh whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Thoughtful. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow stares out of his office most hours. Yeah, he sounds like uh, sounds like a, a an upscale member of society doing all he can to help the production and health of his people. He really wasn't asking you to loot bodies. Well, what was he like? Was I am I supposed to track down family members then? You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged. You certainly to look work privileged. Here. I am never wanting for work. Oh, I since bet. The plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the vicar. vicar says, work fortifies. The oh, okay, there is religion. Man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Yo, what's in here? Oh my gosh, this is where you keep the bodies! Reception has shot himself. This is bad. The company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of space for choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we'd pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a good full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down by his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth to somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, close the door. You can't see. Oh my gosh. He dug around and he's gonna get the teeth out. What does it say? Jeweled ring. Collect debts from living people? I refuse to do that also. That's mean. Yo, what's this? What are you? You're nothing? Okay, you are also nothing? You're just a house. Hang on, this place really makes me want to look at the back alleys. There's like a guarantee to be dead bodies all over the place. Bypass shunt? Why, thank you. Hello, this? Hello, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got some heavy ammo now. There are moral high ground options available when collecting debts. I think it's a dumb policy in the first place. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is Sick no house. Yo, can I go in anyway? I haven't even uh, saved yet. I'm going. Hang on. I gotta save first. I gotta save. Do it for the story. Do do the do the do the do the thing. Do that for the story. Yo, what up? Yo, hello? You've got a name. I'll help you! I appreciate the company and all, but you will really not believe. I'll help you! You don't want to be seen I'm, around me. I'm a doctor! I go where I want. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate <gasps> don't, with no! in the sick house. We're no, don't think that! Time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People that are okay. gonna talk. Uh, you make it sound like I'm being watched. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is gonna hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. You got the flu. I've got some training. I can take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into Just a let lot me give you trouble. some medicine. You need help. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But oh I don't my need gosh, help. this is ridiculous. But I need to understand my own folly. Company always Oh, I hate this mentality so much. Weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride. And then people work, work harder and they get sicker because they're not sleeping and they're not taking care of themselves. Oh my gosh. And it just it's it's also like that whole thing where it's like you're being punished. Like sickness or illness or disability is like is like a punishment for something you've done wrong, which is what like the most like crazy psychotic fanatical Christians and as well as, well as other groups too. But that's what they think. They're just like, oh yeah, it's all like freaking, it's all in your head and it's all your fault that you're suffering. And it's like, no, it's not. Sometimes the world just hands you a bag of crap and you gotta deal with it. And it's easier to deal with if somebody helps you. It's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself because you fell sick. I really wish you I don't care. So I'm angry. I told Revolution. You I told People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Viva la revolution! Oh my gosh, they've got critters in here! And they leave you in here so that they're like, ah, yes, you'll suffer and then you'll learn. You'll you'll get better or you'll die. They don't even have any doctors in here! What is this? Mechanical sentry? I'm taking it. Oh, you died! They died. Can I take your stuff? I can. I can take the stuff from people in here. 
<gasps> can you close the- You can close doors! What? I thought I heard shooting, so I wanted to go see what it was. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. At least get the nasty critters out. That, well, you're wasting company ammo on animals that you could just pick up and throw outside the wall, you psychopath. The guards will kill the bugs. Okay, let's get them out then, actually. If we scare the bugs out, maybe it'll help. I don't know why she's killing the bugs when they're in town. Maybe it's that whole, like, oh, we gotta make it look like everything's nice in town. I think I got all the bugs out. Oh, hey. Look at that. Oh, nope. Oh, dang. Oh, it's a cowboy! Classic semi-formal. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, nope. Wrong button. Armor. No, that's not the button I want. Armor. Defense skills. It's perfect. Social obligations where dress code is, dress code is unclear. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, too bad. Where's the cowboy hat? Where's the cow? Give me the cowboy hat, you a-hole. Is this door open? Any bugs in here? Get out! Oh no, believe me. I know you didn't watch my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough, Nuclear, but get, re get ready. Get ready to rumble. I'm, I'm in it to win it, man. I'm ready to, I'm ready to be mad. I'm ready. Okay, wait, hang on, okay. For the story, I shall go. I shall go. Do the grave robbing of the living. <laughs> it's what it is. It's grave robbing of the living. Uh, I haven't even looked. I think my, my carrying capacity is 100 kilograms. 100 kilos. Wow, it took a, took a while for that to come in. Hang on, setting... I still can't change if, like, the graphics are, uh, like, I want to, like, put the graphics up. The the people look pretty good, honestly, but the environment close up looks kind of funny. But really quick, I'm going to do a bathroom break. Also, uh, is, it, is there a day? There is a day-night cycle. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I love day-night cycles. Okay, where's, oh, are you still out here working? Okay, listen. Grave digging's a fine profession. Whoop! Four workers oh, well, still okay. paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays oh, up. Oh, are these people actually alive? There was, where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber yeah. shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay, bye. So they have to pay... They, they have to pay their entire lives for a grave that they're gonna, like, rent out? Or, like... Is that what it is? Like, you have to pay while you're alive. The skip drive was invented in 23rd century, sparking another space race as corporations began exploring and claiming purchasing rights. <gasps> oh man, in Supernova difficulty, everybody dies! Oh, okay. Oh, they have to pay for the graves of their... Okay, that's what I thought. That's the way I thought it was going to be, was that like you have to pay for your family, essentially. Essentially. But like, if you had to pay... For your own, like, throughout your life. That would be so weird. 
All right, Conrad, buddy, old pal, I already talked to you. I love that the places I've been into stayed. The doors are open. Hey, what's up? Okay, let's talk. What Yo, you owe you? some money, apparently. Oh, medical. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Let's, uh... Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm guessing you were trained at a medical school. Experience oh, I see! Experience, and so you want to be an embalmer, brochures one through five, courtesy of the Spacer's Choice Department uh -huh. of Career Development. Anyway, Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitution. They are, they use such big fancy words like they're well read, but they're like well read on like company propaganda or something. You mean you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction with my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Gish gives Alice an IOU. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, what about... Ha ha ha! I ha ha ha! What about Eugene's gold teeth? You know about Eugene? I went into your How? office and read your paperwork. I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters really sitting shouldn't. out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three uh, generations of poor dental I got a hygiene. grave dig. He took I them to it. his grave. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, you're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an I.O.U. Okay. Bye! <laughs> I know, right? Your legacy is passing on teeth. I mean, I guess it would make sense in an, in an environment that probably... Oh, that guy looks hot. When the space is trying to department of retirement, a writ of execution effective immediately for Guame Antrim, former Spacer's Choice Associate Mechanic, terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrena time. Murder of company workers, theft, unauthorized use of medical surprise, supplies, blah, blah, blah. What? 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 Yeah. What? How did I... What? What? I said he looks hot. Oh, how did I say? Oh, Guame. I said Guame. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It looks so, so French. And I was like, Guame. <laughs> Look, it was like a gui and then like an LL thing. It was just like a Y maybe. And then you all oh, make Guame. <laughs> it is pronounced what? <laughs> no, it isn't. Guillaume? Guillaume? Guillarme? I have a lot of different pronunciations here. Guillarme? Guillaume? 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 
Geom Gil Gilhom Gilhom. No, it isn't. I don't believe you. Geom Guiom. Oh yeah, <laughs> Gilarm. <laughs> no, I don't know. It should sound like William. Guilliam. 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 Yeah, sure. Oh, they have the... Well, I wonder if that's like a tattoo or what. Birdie Cotton. How much you want to bet that some of these people are going to be my... Um, are going to be my companions? Writ of Execution for Bert Cotton, former vicar. No longer in good standing with the Halcyon Branch Order of Scientific Inquir Inquiry. Wanted for destruction. Sedition. Ooh, sedition, yeah. You're, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. So he was trying to help people. Murder of company workers in gold standing. Good standing. Blah, blah, blah. Doc Mabel. Uh, choice depart the spacer's choice department of retirement seems to be the place that you gotta go if you want to get somebody executed. Gilome from the spacer's choice department of retirement, of execution for Mabel Burgess, former spacer's choice physician, condemned on charges of dereliction of duty, at large and dangerous, disappeared with a p two parcels of Adrena time. The destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, it seems to be like the, uh, the, the usual. Oh, vandalism. An unlicensed practice of medicine on seditious criminals. So she probably helped heal that guy or something. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. We should keep our voices Yeah, down. I could tell on you. What's this? I don't know what this is. Yo, what up? Oh, you're the oh, you're the constable. Um. Uh, welcome, Constable Reyes. I'm not Constable Reyes. Uh, I, I, never mind. It doesn't say I can. It doesn't say I'm getting in trouble for that, but it feels kind of weird. I'll just put myself in prison now. Okay. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in oh Frontier boy. Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Well, the office is running a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. What? Good night, Rain. You're right. I should, I should probably get be done fairly soon, maybe, in the next, like, 40 minutes or so. Oh, I've got some questions, if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins Yo, of curiosity. Yo, I don't know. Does the name... No, I'm not asking about that. Uh, who do you work for? Spacer's Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything <laughs> in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Uh, so you're basically a bureaucrat. <laughs> anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Things have really changed, because apparently I can't like my my calling it like the group I was with is from long enough ago that we were like coming from a place where things were normal, you know, as normal as it can be. Uh, what do, who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon That's a lot of words. Corporation. Also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me. I'm new in town. This. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Uh... That, uh, never mind. Something to report? If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring <gasps> their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off. Dude, are they gonna be my? <gasps> They're gonna be my friends, and all I'm gonna have to do is cut off their fingers. Yay! 
Yeah, it's like it's like being initiated into the Assassin's Creed order. It's like being initiated into the Brotherhood. All you gotta do is chop off a finger, and then we can be friends. What are you? Are you you're nothing? Okay, nothing, nothing. I'm glad we can we can forever keep my uh, French terrible French pronun pronunciation. I can't even pronounce English words. That's armor that has blood on it. Yo, this is like a workshop. Yo, yo, what's this? I can have it. It's not stealing. Workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in a tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on. Then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker it, upgrade it. Uh, but that tinker. Um, okay. Modify. I can modify one of my pistols. Install a mod. Sure. Um, can I not? Um, mod. Aw. I have like a, I have like a, oh, is the muzzle loader only for certain? Okay. Whatever. Whatever, I'll do that later when I get stuff that's actually worth tinkering with. La 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 la, nope. You d I do have a mod. I do. I do actually. I do have one. I, I do. Where is it? Where did it go? This one. Ranged weapon mod. Barrel reduces the noise of each shot. Ha ha. It's supposed to be. <gasps> I can sell it for sixty three. <sighs> She does have mods. Larry's right there. Ha! It took me like a solid second. I was like, what? Oh, I do have junk. Ha <laughs> This necklace makes a strong fashion statement. Look at my neck. There's something on it. A pretty something. Look at it! Small metal device used to store rotational energy. A freaking, I love that. I love it. Fun science fact. If you ever have wondered why it's hard to push over a functioning auto mechanical, but it is easy to tip over a non-functioning one, this little device is the reason. <laughs> it is hard to push over a functioning. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. I, I'm gonna have to read. Hang on, I gotta read stuff. It is a mod. It is. It is a mod. It's a modif. Look at that. It's a modification. It's a silencer. Oh, ha ha ha! Yeah, you're not a mod. You're not. You're not here enough. But you have like the special little VIP, little VIP thing. I might put those up just in case these break or something. It is a mod. You were. It's okay, Larry. We're all wrong sometimes. What's this? Hello. Hello. Is this a house? Hello. Hello. Oh no. Nope. This is just the. Uh, this is a house connected to. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Whoa, oh, that's not- Calm down, calm down, calm down. How do I pick things up? Oh, I can't pick that. Dang it! I- Larry, I meant Stubbsman! I meant Stubbsman! Why do I keep doing? I did. I do that all the time. I think for Larry Stonesmith and Frog Raider, I'm always, I'm always messing up your guys' names, and I, I don't know why. Like I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't give you a good reason. The interchangeable Brits. It's true. It's true. See, yeah, you're also Frog Raider. See, I can't, I can't tell you guys apart. You're all British. Mock apple juice. What a delicious sounding object. 
Yo, I'm just gonna take everybody's stuff. But Frog Rider isn't even British! You're right!